Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having a background installation ran into a problem error with Microsoft Office. So I imagine this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. So we're going to go jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set the view by up here to category view. And then select programs. Select uninstall program. And now you want to go ahead and locate your Microsoft Office product. And select the change button. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. It says, how would you like to repair your office programs? Select quick repair, fixes most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. And then select repair. It shouldn't take very long, but you will not be able to use your office programs until we're done. Go ahead and select repair. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so it says we finished repairing your office programs and features. You can now close this window and use your programs. So simple as that. Close out of here, and hopefully that should be about it. If you're still having problems, you can always run a system file checker utility scan. So we're going to do that, and we're going to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. We're going to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in SFC, followed by a space, and then forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running the scan. It will take some time to run, so please be patient.
So there you go, guys. Let's just restart your computer once that's done, and that should really be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.